while I was sitting in meditation before we met, the Akashic librarians were, of course, uh, chatting with me and getting me attuned for what's about to come. And I said to them, I like, I know codes. Like I, sometimes I close my eyes when I want to go to sleep and it's just like billions of codes falling. I see so many codes falling. And um, I actually, I used to work with a healer who had an ancient manuscript. Like, I don't know how old, you know, 150 years old of, of codes. It was like a dictionary or an encyclopedia of codes. And so sometimes when I would see codes, I would ask her and she would look them up and like, it was the actual resource. It was a, an amazing, it was an old um, Wiccan, like way back Wiccan book um, from, from Britain, like Druidic Wiccan kind of thing. So um, I'm familiar with gateways, I'm familiar with mandalas, I'm familiar with codes. I've participated in galactic gateway ceremonies, both as a participant and as a leader. But I said to librarians like today, I don't really know what they are because I always channel them. So I'm not in control of what I'm doing. I just know I'm providing a service that someone non-physical has requested of me. And they laughed, they laughed. So they're gonna explain that today. It never occurred to them that we don't know what this stuff is. We just know it's important. So um, in a moment, the librarians will come through and they will um, explain a little bit about what, what these codes are and, you know, what gateways are and what it all means. Uh, so I'm excited to learn that, I guess, later when I watch this uh, video, <laughs> because I'll be a little... All right, so um, here we go. Let's, um, for those of you who join me every Wednesday night when we channel the librarians, and for those of you who don't, but you would like to, uh, go to my website, bonitawoods.org, and register for the Akashic uh, Level 2 the Akashic researchers. We meet every Wednesday night and the librarians come and they teach us a lot of cool stuff. Um, and, and there's a lot of other events and fun things. So, um, and I have the link, I think in the description to my website. Um, and so for those of you who join me Wednesday nights, you guys know this like as well as I do, you know that your personal librarian is here with you and your guardian angel is here with you, your soul is connected with you. Um, and I will say before we go in, the librarians were talking about how the 1122 code opening is really the other side of the 1111 code opening. And I was like, the 1111? And they said, yes. Uh, when we met that Wednesday, we were connecting with our souls. We were up in the library. We were doing a lot of soul work and a lot of self-empowerment work. And they said, just as the crown and the root chakras are the two sides of the same chakra stream, um, and process. The 1111 was about manifesting well-being within the self, and the 1122 is about manifesting well-being outward, inward and outward. So those of you who were with me on 1111, um, we, we already started this process, and now we will continue. So you will find all the non-physical guides and guardians and your librarian and your angel and the Akashic librarians and your soul are all set and ready in place. All you have to do is comfortably slip into place as we go forward. 
you will find this will not be just an intellectual experience for you watching and hearing them speak through me. It will also be a personal experience if you open up and allow it. And for those of you who are joining us who um, were not part of that, that's okay. Just invite whomever you normally work with, you know, an archangel, animal totem, you know, people you love who passed, collectives, you know, elements, crystals, your soul, you know, your guardian angel, whomever you normally work with. And if you're welcome to open up, you may find that others will also join. Um, so let's bring in the librarians so that we can be in full power at 11.22 and um, see what happens. So let's go into our welcoming meditation. For those of you who are experienced, you know the drill. For those of you who are new to this, you're welcome to just follow along at your comfort. <sighs> give your bodies, give your body permission to relax. Give your body permission to manage itself so that your brain can just really relax and go into full receptive mode. Don't worry if anything is real or imaginary, just enjoy, receive, accept, and you can logic or figure things out later if you want. It's okay if your eyes are open or closed, but give all of the inside of your body permission to just manage itself and relax so that you don't need to be in charge of anything. If there's any part of your body that's feeling tension or stress or discomfort, um, anxiety, give it permission to resolve itself and take a little break to just fill up with some good stuff that's about to come in. Give your feet permission to relax so that all the energy that is in the bottom of your feet can just flow out deep into earth. All the energy that's in your body can flow down through your body, down through your legs, into your feet, through your feet, into earth. And you'll notice as everything just flows through, you might feel a little vertigo or a little, whoa, what's happening? The top of your head naturally and instinctively wants to relax and open up so that all of the beautiful love energy from your soul and whoever is here with you of the non-physical, who connects with you through love and cares about your best, most joyous well-being, is able to send their highest frequency energy into your receptive light and airy top of your head. Go floating and filtering through your mind, down through your neck, your spine, down through your body, your arms and hands, through your core, down through your legs, through your feet, deep into earth. So that you are becoming a living conduit of divine love that is flowing into you and through you to our beautiful planet earth. My dear friends, the Akashic librarians are here. They're getting ready to push me out of my body so that they can come in and speak with you. Activate some planetary healing. 
with your help. So while you relax and absorb, receive, absorb, flow and emanate, I'm going to step out. Hmm. 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 Yes, we are here. We are here with you on this beautiful day, this day that is honorable special for wonderful things are happening all around you you may not notice you may not have yet realized for humans choose to live exist with limited vision and warped perspective we don't mean warped as in negative we mean instead of looking outward you look outward and then warp your vision to downward so you do not see many of the occurrences and frequencies that are constantly surrounding you so hmm, we are hopeful today that some of your eyes will open a little better or your hearts for of course you do not see with just the physical eyeballs you see with many senses hmm. so this morning our delightful young spark asked upon us what is the purpose of the galactic gateway opening and the code infusion we admit we were surprised as how could such an obvious occurrence not be clear to her so this is our error for having not properly educated her and many of you in advance we apologize now we will rectify hmm. we invite you as we speak open your hearts open your minds for this is not something that will happen it is something that is now happening happening at this moment as we speak allow yourself to resonate with the experience so that you may fully or partially as is your connection connect hmm. so what is a code some of you have experienced codes flowing into you or seen codes around you or moments of codes. As you know, everything is made of energy. Everything, be it a dense physical energy or a light multidimensional energy, everything is energy hmm. and what does energy need it needs infusions of fresh energy it needs flow otherwise it becomes stagnant it needs to be fed it needs to be refreshed always all energy no energy 
anywhere can exist on its own unchanging. You see this in your three-dimensional reality, especially when you add the fourth dimension of time, you see energy to go from 3D to 4D requires change. So what do you think happens when you then go to 5D, 20D, 1000D, a billion D? There is much change, much activity, much currency of energy flow, reception, deflection. It is a beautiful and complex lifestyle energy. Hmm. But of course, your visions are fairly limited by your senses. Those, say, a Buddhist priest who is devout and meditates, becomes one with energy, will have enhanced senses. They can see and be aware of all the different energy flows and patterns and connections. Hence, their ability to design mandalas because they see them. Hence their ability to levitate their bodies, for they see the energies that mm, you are blindly walking through and past without connection. They are trained. Ergo, you have all the abilities they have. You are just lacking the training and education. This is important for you to understand, for do not underestimate yourself and your native skills. Just be aware that some training and practice, some illumination will make a huge difference in your connection with all the Ds and the flows of energy. So what are these codes? Think about what is the rain? What are the seeds that flow from one flower to another? The codes are elements that come to infuse and invigorate to refresh and to grow, to blossom. There was a time long ago when the human's planet was in harmony with itself from the core of the earth out to the galaxy, all the grids, the mandalas, the codes, the plants, the animals, the elements, the waters flowing, and the fires burning were in harmony and all worked as one. Truly, whatever happened here would affect there, and there was great energetic exchange as the human civilization grew rampantly out of control. You disconnected from this harmonious process. You destroyed the landscapes, put up your buildings, diverted the rivers, caused the pollution. This did not just disconnect you from the planet. It severed grids that were required for functioning of your planet. It destroyed energy flows. Of course, energy cannot be destroyed. It can change form, but there is no destruction of energy. You changed energy form, but you did sever mandalas and grids and energy connections. These galactic gateway openings are basically 
openings from places with much energy that bring fresh energy to your planet to help with the revival, the return, the rebuilding, the reconstruction to make your planet more healthy again and to help the humans reconnect with your planet as it once was and as it once again will be different for nothing ever returns to how it was in fact but in concept it will return to a fully functioning organism and the humans will be a part of this hmm. so this is the gateway opening to bring in the codes just like the rain falling from the clouds so that all the plants may thrive the codes that come in are the codes that are needed for rebuilding and healing the energy of your planet and then you will find the more you connect with these the easier it is for you to hmm, learn the skills that these devout priests and monks and nuns have devoted their lives to, you will become again a part of this. Once upon a time, everyone was naturally a part of it. These devouted people have kept the sacred knowledge intact as everything else fell apart but as the energies are coming back the more people who connect with these codes and incoming mandalas the more these sacred knowledges will become again widespread the other purpose of the gateway openings is because as you have blown up and severed many grids you have this energy that has no place to go so it can indeed become even cancerous when the gateways open they bring the energy down to help heal and give connection so that you are not hmm, just functioning on the energy of your planet now you are receiving like an iv drip in a hospital you are receiving energy and then the day will come when earth is again healed and does not need so much infusion from other dimensions that you will again be self-sustaining then it will be more give and take of energy symbiotically to other dimensions and cultures this is the purpose and of course it has already begun let us join together for a moment hmm. and welcome yourself to step into it join us please join us allow yourself to relax and introvert allow yourself to introvert you may close your eyes and you might see something different from what you normally see when your eyes are closed you may see codes or equations or you may see energy swirling or pitch black or you may see whatever you see who knows you might see an archangel staring at you with great love this is also appropriate hmm. just close your eyes and allow your focus to look within yourself look within the flow of energy through you imagining yourself to be something like an empty pipe so that 
the energy is flowing as so you turn on the water spigot and it is flowing through a garden hose. You are the garden hose. Allow the spigot to open so that energy may flow in through the top of your head, through your body, through your feet. This allows you to become a conduit. And then you say, either in your mind or out loud, I invite my soul to fill me with love. I invite the angels to fill me with love. I invite all who truly love me, who exist in the frequency of my soul or my angel or even greater love to fill me with pure love, love that is healthy for me and love that is healthy for my planet, love that is healthy for all whom I love, love that is healthy to send outward. Just take a moment. Feel this connection and this flow of love. Hmm. Invite the love to flow through you. You are nothing but a conduit at this moment. So it does not matter what you think of yourself. You are an empty vessel flowing so that all others may benefit. And in the process, you are washing all the cells of your physical being with this beautiful high frequency, pure love. So of course it is nice for you. Invite your body to absorb and emanate, radiate as much as you flow through. And then you may speak to your soul your soul from whom you were created and say, please invite the galactic gateway, the portal to flow coded energy through me to help heal the planet, to help heal me, to bring tremendous healing love Invite the codes and invite the gateway to open. They may flow through you and around you. Invite your soul to become infused with the codes so that all the codes and your soul can just wash you over with all the love your soul has for you and all the love from many dimensions and galaxies to just be one with you and go on as well. If you like a mantra, you may say the word love. Love. You may introvert the word love. 
for it is appropriate for you to love yourself as dearly as your soul loves you and to accept the profound love that your soul has for you. And it is appropriate for you to receive this love code within yourself and anchor it, secure it, where there is enough to share. And then as you are filled with this love code, when you go forward, following this experience, you will have this love energy flowing from you. You may tap into it as a personal resource and spread it wherever you go, like that Johnny Appleseed fellow sending trees everywhere. You will be hmm, personal love seed flowing with love for everyone. And just as no one is required to pick an apple, no one is required to receive love, but how much more beautiful the landscape when sprinkled with your seeds of love wherever you go, and how grateful for those who are hungry for love to see love blooming around them. This is a blessing that you give to your planet. The more you fill yourself with love, the more you acknowledge what a beautiful soul you are, the more love sends from you to anyone and everyone. As we know, those who wallow in pain love is the greatest cure those who are mean or angry put up shields against love but it only takes one seed to infect them and turn them back into remorseful and then loving it is appropriate to fill the world with love and this love energy will find its way. It's very clever. With this gateway open, much love is entering our planet. With gratitude towards each of you for your support with the process. If you find any place in your body that feels uncomfortable or distressed, invite it to eat and receive more of the codes. Or yes, there is plenty plenty to share. And you will find like any battery, when you are full up with love, you are very powerful, very powerful indeed. And this is a good source of power, one of love, one of many dimensions and collectives and races. It's a beautiful mixed bag of many types of pure love, shades of love that come. They're very, they create a complete spectrum and then spread among your planet to help heal these severed mandalas and to reconnect grids so that magic may return profoundly to your beautiful little planet. Hmm.
Wonderful. This is a simple ceremony, but a beautiful, powerful one. We invite each of you to remain connected to this mandala, to this portal, to this grid throughout this day, should you wish, or certainly you may connect to this anytime. Just ask your soul to fill you with multidimensional love and trust me, your soul will find a portal or a grid to send it to you. This is a technique you may practice as often as you like and stay connected for as long as you wish, providing you are also safely managing your daily lives. This is very helpful for your planet's revival. You will see the effect and you will feel it in yourself as well. You will find as you are flowing with these connective frequencies, it will be easier for you to manifest good things for yourself and for your life, for your planet. You will find the more you are in alignment and become practiced with this technique that your path of life will be filled with more blessings. Some of these blessings may be tiny, but a tiny blessing and a grandiose one are truly of equal merit. We suggest that each of you spend some time today in joyous meditation, connecting with trees or sitting, listening to music, or take a lovely, refreshing nap. Spend some time today in quiet contemplation if you have the chance. And connect, fill with this love for today. Gateways are wide open and energy is ripe for the picking. Mm. Yes, this ceremony is complete now. We are not of the sort to do bangings of drums and singing and dancing for our process. We are more just hardwiring into the energy. But if you wish today to sing or dance or flute or drum, that is also appropriate. Yes, we are complete now and we are very grateful for having spent this time with you. Mm. Blessings be to each of you and spend your day with joy and as you wish. Farewell. Well, that was something. Um, well, I guess, wow, <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys on Facebook, thanks for joining us and um, I'm gonna have to recalibrate <laughs> brain a little I think but um and you guys who are with me on zoom if you want
you're welcome to stay on and we can chat. All right, thank you. Thank you everyone on Facebook for joining us. Um,